Have you noticed that the moon is becoming this massive flashing signal? Let me tell you what I mean. Imagine taking all these occurrences with these full moons over the past few years and just imagine speeding up time so that we go from one full moon to the next. You would probably see a pattern that is increasing. I think this recent blood moon may be significant. As the moon, let's not forget, serves as a sign for the seasons. And people are going to be like, of course, winter is coming. Which will be two days after the next full moon on December 21st. I say, with all these things occurring, now's the time to really, really do some work on yourselves. I cannot emphasize this enough because the day is coming when it will be too late. There is only a window of opportunity for us to act. We need to get spiritually grounded, physically stronger. We have to actively address our psychological and emotional issues. We are going to have to make sacrifices and let go of the life that was our past. So I want to tell you guys about something that happened recently. Well, it has been happening for quite some time, but the conversation about it, for the most part, is missing. And if you weren't paying attention, you would have missed it. In fact, most people did miss it. They didn't care. They thought it was a insignificant event. Science news. Just your everyday NASA news. And we are going to get into that in a moment. Because as I stated a couple of weeks ago, we are going to see a major shift. Actually, we are witnessing a major shift. And I wasn't playing around. We may have just entered an era when galaxies collide. So this blood moon is what's called a almost total lunar eclipse, which means the sun, earth, and moon line up so that the moon is in the darkest part of the earth's shadow, called the umbra. In this case, 99.1% of the moon was in this umbra, which peaked early this morning. They call it a beaver moon because historically, in North America, it's around the time of the year fur trappers would set traps for beavers. At the same time, the beavers were taking shelter for the winter. I'll say that again so that you can hear it. They call it a beaver moon. First time you have ever heard of a freaking beaver moon or a frosty moon or snowy moon. And they call it that because it is at a time when beavers are hunted and trapped as they try to take shelter. Okay? That's a hidden message for you there. Now, something to keep in mind is that this eclipse goes on record as the longest partial lunar eclipse in a millennium. Clocking in at 3 hours, 28 minutes, and 23 seconds. The last one was in 1440. Would you like to take a guess as to when the next longest total lunar eclipse is going to be? Next year, November. But that's just a coincidence, right? That's just the normal cycle of the moon over years, right? Now, aside from the 
November 2021 blood moon or beaver moon. Something happened recently that I want to make you all aware of. And actually it has been in the news all year for some time. And I haven't seen anyone discussing this. I heard it mentioned, but I haven't seen anyone go into detail on it. Let me know if you have. Take a look at this. And I just want to give you the headlines first. Scientists may have found a planet outside of the Milky Way galaxy for the first time. October 26, 2021. This newly discovered galaxy is a space mystery. February 2021. New discovered galaxy defies understanding, say astronomers. Scientists found a galaxy dating back to the early years of the universe, but appearing to be billions of years too old for that. February 2021. Discovery of two new giant radio galaxies offers fresh insights into the universe. January 18th, 2021. MIT astronomers discover new galaxy clusters hiding in plain sight. Lesson learned from the CHIP survey must inform future cluster searches, researchers say. MIT Kavli Institute for Astrophysics and Space Research, March 26, 2021. Astronomers just discovered new galaxies at the edge of the observable universe, where even more early galaxies await. September 24, 2021. Three new ultra-faint dwarf galaxies discovered August 31st, 2021. Astronomers accidentally discovered new galaxy 11 billion light years from Earth after studying what they thought was a reflection in the Hubble Space Telescope. October 8th, 2021. Now I want you to know that this is not the only year that they have been discovering new galaxies outside of the Milky Way. Last year, the year before that. So why is this important? It's important because not only have they been talking about discovering new galaxies, they have also been discussing the collision of galaxies with our galaxy. For many years, they have been talking about the inevitable collision of the Andromeda galaxy with ours in about 4 billion years or so. But then it was about dwarf galaxies colliding with ours in shorter periods of time. Within all this news, they have discovered an exoplanet just outside our galaxy for the first time. This one, they say, is about the size of Saturn. So what this means is that we are probably now shoulder to shoulder with another galaxy. Two galaxies or multiple galaxies colliding with each other, causing star collisions at the edges of the Milky Way. You see, when they disclose information like this to us, we more often than not don't look at it as disclosure. We think it's just some new science discovery. But the bigger picture is that it's disclosure and a warning. It fits in with the timing of everything else. Imagine living in a place on the earth where there was no light pollution. And you had a pretty clear view of the Milky Way galaxy or at least one of its arms. And one day you notice that coming into view is another arm of the galaxy. Or is it another galaxy entirely? Mystery object in space could be a new arm of the Milky Way. Scientists spot giant feature at edge of the galaxy. August 23rd, 2021. Interesting. Astronomers have discovered an enormous new filament of gas and dust hanging at the outer edge of our galaxy, nicknamed Cattail. The feature is not yet fully mapped, and the team who found it believe it could be a previously unknown arm of our Milky Way galaxy. Oh, just all of a sudden we have a 
new arm to the Milky Way galaxy. So what they discovered is that this thing stretches over 3,600 to 16,000 light years across and is about 68,000 light years away, which to me is not very far when we are talking in the scale of galaxies. See, when we are talking about the distance between planets, thousands of light years is far away. But when we are talking about the distance between galaxies, thousands of light years ain't that far away. Everything that is happening is not just happening to us. It's happening to the sun, the moon, the stars, the galaxy. Anyone who has been monitoring the skies over the past few years may have noticed that the heavens are becoming increasingly chaotic. Now at the same time this is happening in deep space, we have what may be a binary twin star coming upon us. And only God knows what's coming with it. But there may be a few people on the planet who know what's coming with it. I want you guys to understand on what scale changes are happening. Changes are happening from Earth to the edge of the galaxy. If there are aliens on other planets out there, I bet they're having climate issues as well. The aliens have probably been coming here to look for a place to escape. Like the old Anunnaki tale, right? Visiting here thinking, oh, this might be a good place to escape. But it's not. Maybe the Earth doesn't have the right living conditions for them, so they have to terraform our planet to move here. Let me not get too far off the subject here. This blood moon was just another reminder of the changing season. But it's not just the Earth's changing season. The changing season of our solar system and everything else. They say this is the longest partial blood moon in 580 years. Depending on what source you look at. But that's a long time for it to be just hitting us again now at all times. Coincidence? Of course not. Nothing God does is coincidence. It's been spoken. That is a major indicator when you start to see all these different episodes occur in deep space. All that is going to trickle down to us. It's going to affect the forces of the earth. It's already been happening. It's going to change the atmosphere. It's going to change the dynamics of our solar system. In other words, the movement of the planets. It's going to affect time. Yes, time is not this permanent interrupted thing. There are time anomalies, mostly in space, but also here on the planet. And this is going to change people's minds. We've just had a beaver moon, folks. Is this some type of subtle message that they are going to attempt to trap us as we try and shelter down for the winter <laughs> it might be a good time to keep track of any new major restrictions or actions that they may take to further weaken us as we move into the winter months i truly hope we don't have to move into a period where we are no longer just getting through the winter but having to survive it there is more to come. I just wanted to give you my current thoughts about this blood moon and the future events. Most of the time, nothing happens when these things occur. They are supposed to be just signs of the future. And when the signs come, just prepare. Be sure to visit woodwardentertainment.com and the Woodward Entertainment Store. You can follow me on Instagram at jwoodward. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends, which will be very soon, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.